I'm Liv from uh, Teapots and Elephants. I thought that to go along with my blog, I'd uh, stop hiding me on the keyboard and do some videos. So I hope that you like them. And for, for today's, I think I'm just going to keep it basic because I'm a bit new to all this and a bit nervous. So I'm just going to do what am I on my face now. This is kind of like sort of what I wear every day, but a bit more. Like, I don't know. A bit more done up because I'm going out with some. Well, I'm going to my friend's house. So, um, yeah, to start with, I, I've been using this Extress Hydration Primer, which is like a moisturiser and a primer in one. Uh, it was about, it was under five, five pounds, but got from Boots. Now, I don't really know if I like it because it's really, it's meant for dry skin, but it's really fragrant, and sometimes that accepts of alarm bells with me because I'm like, surely they could do without all that. Anyway. Then uh, I, I've been using this 17 Miracle Mat under my eyes, it's like this, and uh, this is actually really good, like I've used the Collection 2001 before and the actual Collection 1 and loads of other things, but this is so creaming and just like blends into nothing really, well not nothing because obviously you want something, but it's really nice, and this is the shade Extra Fair so pale and then uh i've been using this recently like i only got it a couple of weeks ago the revlon color stay and this is in the like your shade ivory actually because i am so pale like it's unbelievable now obviously everyone hates this but i don't know can you see how pale it is maybe i don't know um like I'm suffering with some really, really bad eczema under my eyes, so I don't know. I've been trying not to wear makeup, obviously, because I'm going up tonight. Um, I've put a bit on, but this is this is the dry skin one because you obviously do dry skin one and uh, oily skin one, so yeah. And then I've been using the uh, 17 Miracle Matte Press Powder in Ivory Porcelain, and uh, I've never like really experimented with powders that much before. I just got any old one, but I swear down, this is so nice and soft on your skin which is obviously a big bonus really and then um what did I do after that on my cheeks I've been using this Honey Queen blusher by W7 um I think that you'll all realise it looks a bit like Benefit but that's what it looks like inside and uh I don't know it's just really nice I think and uh, I've been using it with this Eco Tills brush. I've done a blog post about this this brush set before. The the Fresh and Flawless Five Piece set. About how how they all are. And it tells you all, every single thing that they use, they're used for. But they are quite small, aren't they? Like, this is meant to be the full face powder brush. I mean, is that gonna, is that really gonna... It's okay, but I'm not using it for my full face powder. But yeah, I really love the mother eyes. The amazing quality and um for like I think it was about eleven pounds, eleven pounds or twelve pounds, so I can't really complain really, because that's quite a good price for all those brushes. Um eyebrows have been using this accessorized kit. Um I've had this ages and I've like hardly even dented it look. But I think it's, I don't think I'm to sell it anymore because um I don't know the stand's going to see what it looks so I don't think that they do but it's really good I just apply it with an angled brush but I don't really do it every day these days because I don't know I can't really be bothered I'm not gonna lie but because I'm going out and making the extra effort and all sorts um, for my eyelids I've got this eyeshadow pencil but it's worth the colour by collection and um, what shade is this vintage blush and it's like this but it comes out really lovely and pink and glittery and no joke you cannot get this stuff off like it's really creamy so you can blend it in at first but then it kind of like it just lasts all day like that'll be on my hand for the rest of the night now it's a nightmare to get off but that's good sometimes then I've been using this um never had a highlight before actually 
So I thought, oh well, I might as well get one. And uh, I've been using this at Makeup, Ag Makeup Academy and Dress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. It's like this lovely palette -y thing. But it, look at it, it's so lovely. Like it's so pigmented. I find that with a lot of the MUA stuff that it's really pigmented and just like amazing really. So for a beginner, I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah. One second, I forgot my um, mascara. So yeah, for my eyelid, well, like my tight line, I've been using the uh, collection brown eyeliner because um. I don't know, I think the brown tones are a bit more soft on the eyes. Otherwise, brown being black can make it look a bit heavy, and I don't really like wearing heavy makeup because I don't know. I used to, but not these days, I don't. Anyway, it looks like this. Look how much you get. And it's like, I think it's all maybe three pounds, I'm not sure. But it's unbelievable. And it lasts ages. And then I've got this. Collection Extreme Colour Length in a Mascara in Black. I've had this loads of times. My mum got it for me like about three years ago and I just kept rewriting it because it's just nice. It's a nice brush, I think. Um, but I will, if I wanted it to last, if I wasn't just going out for the evening, if, if I was going out for the whole day, I'd probably use a different one because sometimes this one like flops a bit. But for what I want right now, it's, it's good, yeah. And then for my lips, I've been using this um, Bourjois Sweet Kiss lipstick in um, Prune Caress. I'm not sure if this is discontinued anymore, but look how cool the package Like that and slide it down. So, so you know sometimes when you put lipstick in your handbag and then it escapes and it gets everywhere, that's not going to be an issue. And it's this lovely, plummy autumnal colour. So yeah, I hope, hope you enjoyed my video. I hope uh, this is the start of more to come. Um, yeah, so subscribe and whatnot. Thank you.